What up, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk back with another NFL blog. What up, Bills Mafia? How's everyone doing? I did a video earlier talking about the release of John Brown. I hated to see it. Um, it is what it is, though, you know. Free agency, cap space, teams are trying to maneuver around, get ready for next year. We're going to see some people walk, and some fans are not going to like it. It is what it is. But um, a discussion, debate, that a lot of people had leading up to this, and I spoke about this on my previous video, was that um, more or less uh, Bills fans and a lot of you know uh, NFL fans and, and people who follow the game and media people, um, and we're going to talk about this is a guy from the Buffalo sports media with this tweet here. A lot of people felt like John Brown, um, you know, is as talented a player as he is in his second year when he missed a lot of football being hurt or being on the IR or that other list, the VIRUS list, um, the team was uh, was okay without him, basically. So that's kind of where we're seeing what's happening happening. Um, let me know what you guys think. But peep this tweet. This is Josh Reed, like I said, in the Buffalo uh, sports media. He says, let's not overlook. Gabriel Davis had a very productive rookie season. The Bills offense didn't miss a beat when John Brown went out and Davis went in. That made the decision to part ways with Brown that much easier. And like I just said, this is like echoing what all the fans were talking about on Bills Twitter and um, you know other um, places where we have our little sports debates and discussions you know what I mean everyone was saying John Brown was out look at the way our offense did you know we know Diggs obviously best receiver in the league in 2020 um and Gabriel Davis who he's talking about here phenomenal rookie season this guy was impressive man uh some real nice toe drag swag catches um he would jump up for the ball uh, he came up with some very big plays you know, like when we needed those sparks in a lot of games, like Gabriel Davis was outstanding. But let's see um, what a lot of people are saying. This guy, Joe Hanley, says that's just not true. In games where Brown wasn't 100 percent, they struggled. KC twice and the Tennessee game. Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> obviously. If you watch the channel and you're a Bills fan, you've been keeping up on the content. You know, I, like that KC um, game, the, the AFC Championship game, I don't even like to talk about, man. But um, aside from that, that Tennessee game is a game I really don't like to talk about, man. That game was played in the Twilight Zone or something. And then um, let's see the replies to this. So what do you guys think, though? Do you think that's true? Because... Listen, there's no debating. Like we said, we know Stephon Diggs is the best receiver in the NFL, okay? We know Gabriel Davis went out there and lit it up, and we still put up numbers. And I pointed out in my video earlier, John Brown, even with all the football he missed for when he was out there, he still had some pretty impressive numbers for how much time he was on the field, to be honest. And um, But like I was saying, though, even though this being said, that Gabriel Davis did his thing in the offense, still, you know, um, was productive. C certain things, um, you know, still can't be accounted for more or less. Like, you know, could the offense have been even more productive? You know, um, did John Brown not being out there, did they, did that change the way teams were able to D, D us up and stuff? Like, I don't know. Hit, like, we're just talking. So hit the comments. Let's talk. But, um, this guy replies and says, I mean, if you want to be technical, he was part of the playoff KC game and had virtually no impact on that game. How many games where he missed and the offense didn't struggle? Yes, him playing hurt sort of proves that he just shouldn't have toughed it out. I'll miss smoke, but... And then someone says, the offense was grooving in games. He was 100% healthy. His ability to stretch the defense is kind of what I was just saying. And no, I did not read this thread before making this video. Um, his ability to stretch the defense did so much for Beasley, Diggs, and Davis. Davis has a different skill set. No doubt he can step into a full-time role, but this team needs another burner. So, interesting take there. Um... 
And then we got one more reply. This I got to read it. This is an interesting thread to me. Um, and then he responded back and said, I agree they need another burner 100%. I want to believe they went to him and asked him to take a straight up pay cut. He may have elected to get a higher contract somewhere else. Any other year, I think he's a bill and maybe gets a slight extension. So you got to wonder about that. Did they uh, reach out to John Brown? I mean, I want to say... John Brown hitting Instagram the way he did with the thank you for the two years Buffalo post. I mean, it gets so crazy trying to read into all these social media posts and everything. You know, was that was that right after they approached him and he said, no, nah, I'm not taking a pay cut. You know, um, if they did hit him up like that, should he have taken the pay cut? Um, you know, because of the cap situation, I don't know. It's it's just interesting, and I love talking football with you guys. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, then Josh Reed says they will not miss John Brown next season. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of premature, right? Uh, Nick Watkins replies and says they didn't struggle in those games because they were missing John Brown. Um, someone says you picked. The three games, two against the defending champs and one against the team coming off 14 days of rest, kind of misleading. Um, and someone says this, uh, there is a void that will now need to be filled. Uh, Davis, the same type of receiver, it's wrong to assume he just replaces Brown's role when they have different skill sets. Very true, very true. Josh Reed says, that's incorrect. All season long, Gabriel Davis was praised by coaches and teammates for his ability to play the different wide receiver positions. I mean, yeah, the, like Gabriel Davis had an amazing season. I'm kind of disagreeing with what Josh Reed is saying here. They, they're they're different receivers, period, in, in my opinion. Um, and then this guy responded back and said, yeah, what else are they supposed to say? Did you watch the games? Not the same player. If you put him at the two, they still need a speed guy at the three. There's still a hole. So, I don't know. Um, just wanted to share this with all the football fans, all the fellow Bills Mafia, Bills fans. Get your guys' take. Um, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, in my if you didn't see my previous video, I'll pin the link in the comments on, on this video. It's just a shame to see John Brown go, man. It. Uh, I don't know, man, but I said it in my uh, earlier video. People always... You know, every year when these kind of things happen, people always like, I'm still mad at the way they cut Fred Jackson back when that happened and certain stuff. Um, I don't know. I really felt like John Brown was a part of this special team that they've been building. You know what I mean? I mean, I know he was only here for two years, but I just feel like he made such a difference Um made a big impact immediately as soon as he got on the field for us and just kind of helped got that get was able to help get that momentum to to kind of start elevating us to the next level and i don't know I, i'm just gonna miss him so hit the comments let's talk thanks for tuning in make sure to subscribe to the channel this is jay coffee talk where we talk music news sports current events life and much more and i always want to hear your guys take i'll catch you on the next video go bills bills mafia turn up peace again john brown you will be missed